Home renovation shows are a big hit, but several homeowners say the magic of TV does not always match up with the experience behind the scenes. Yeah, they are making some serious allegations as a new show shot right here in Utah launched this week on the new Magnolia Network. KSL consumer investigator Matt Gephardt has been digging into it. He joins us live tonight. Matt, what'd you find? Mike Guinea, good evening. The people we talked to said initially the pitch sounded pretty cool. You were going to get your home renovated, to get it done relatively cheaply, re relatively cheap, I should say, and it was all going to be featured on TV. But for the people that we spoke to, some of them say it turned into more of a remodel nightmare. I bought this house about a year and a half ago. A series of Instagram stories from a bountiful woman have gone viral. We're Andy and Candace Meredith. The focus is a well-known Utah couple that remodels homes on TV, Candace and Andy Meredith. Their show, Homework, is part of the lineup of Chip and Joanna Gaines' brand new network called Magnolia. But according to the Instagram posts, doing business with Homework left a bountiful woman over budget and with shoddy work. I definitely was terrified to hit publish. Aubrey Benyon is that woman. The frame of it, the cabinets. She says that when she agreed to participate in the show where the Merediths would flip her kitchen and put on a deck, she was drawn in by the celebrity of it all and she admittedly did not do her due diligence. There was no contract, only a verbal commitment that it would take about three weeks and cost about 25 grand. Aubrey gave the couple $13,000 to get started. Once filming started... Everything lagged, everything was open-ended. Those weeks turned into months. Worse, Aubrey says it was only after about six months of begging for a cost breakdown that she was told $40,000 had been spent on her home. And they didn't even have appliances in yet. And I said, well, tear it all out and get rid of it. I can't, I don't have that. I don't, I can't, I don't have it to give you. That's like almost 100% over budget. Yeah. <laughs> Aubrey says she did not pay the Merediths another dime. She pulled out of the show. But she says that uncovered new issues, including the fact that a flooring contractor had not been fully paid. Before I could turn my sprinklers And on. the new deck had been built over the sprinklers, which she claims cost her upwards of $18,000 to pay a landscaper to fix. Aubrey is not alone in her frustrations. One month turned into multiple. Jeff Holly says he was told his remodel would cost 45 grand, but then was told it would be another 35 grand to finish the job. They had blown through our entire budget just in demo. And that was like, that just kind of like took our breath away. Like Aubrey, he says that he paid no more money and pulled out of the show, firing the Merediths after about four months worth of work. Constantly being in a sense of turmoil. And I then there's Mark and Kelly Jensen, who emailed the KSL investigators and posted on Instagram that their home remodel for the show was over budget and not as expected. And there's Robert and Vienna Goats, who sued and won in court, saying they paid $50,000 towards a remodel for the show, but no work was ever done. Goats tells the KSL investigators he has only recouped about $15,000 so far. But with these remodels all taking place way back in late 2019, why is this news now? No matter what era you love, just learn as much as you can. Several of the people to whom we spoke say they chose to sound off now because of the show launching this week on the cable network. This just like this has to stop happening. Like people have to stop supporting these these people. I want their show to be canceled. I don't want them to be given more rope to do this to more people. We reached out to the Magnolia Network, which is also hearing complaints and is taking action. Quote, Magnolia Network is aware that certain homeowners have expressed concerns. A statement reads, we have decided to remove homework from the Magnolia Network lineup pending a review of the claims that have been made. I do think we took on too many projects at once. In an interview today, Candace Meredith admitted that things did not always go smoothly on these projects. You know, there's disputes on how budgets were set, and I understand that. Um, things did take longer than were hoped. She says that she and her husband were overwhelmed but did try hard to right perceived wrongs for their clients. We have always tried to do our very best to make anything right that was brought to our attention. Meredith does say that for every frustrated client, there are others who are satisfied and are jumping to her defense. It's hard to, to hear some of the things they're saying. And she flat out rejected some of the claims that had been made against her including that she stole money or worked with unlicensed contractors, though she herself was not licensed to do contract work. You sort of were walking this line between designer, yeah. right, and general contractor. Um, yeah, we've learned a lot about that as well. And, and 
you know, I, I will say we were naive about the inner workings of all that, but we've spoken with the state and what we can, what we could have and couldn't have done. And we have very much learned that that was walking a line. Meredith says she is no longer doing any work for clients. I asked if she was hopeful that homework would get back on the air. If I'm being honest, I don't feel hopeful about anything in any realm of life other than my beautiful family and my sweet husband and the people who have reached out to us who know us and care about us and know the full truth. When we spoke today, Meredith would not get into some of the specific accusations against her. She said that doing so would hurt more people by bringing the contractors they hired into it.